towards. What a blessing for the church. And I'm so thankful to see you this morning here. And after listening John again, I understood better why last night you decided to come back after hours to continue. Thank you, John. What a blessing. It is a blessing to understand what the stewardship is for the church. I'm not going to preach another sermon, another presentation, because we had all the material we need. But I want to confirm to you that the stewardship is an important wind of our plane. The church has a, a, a lot of systems and pieces and departments, but two wings. The two wings are evangelism and stewardship. Without those wings, the church simply can't fly. So we need to keep these two wings. They are in position and the church is going to fly it harmoniously. So you are, as a stewardship directors in the church, a very important person in order to help the church to grow. Evangelism, bring the people to the church. Stewardship, help the people to give the means, the time, and everything we need to finish the mission of Jesus on earth. And the heart of evangelism and stewardship is love. In December, I went to Massachusetts to expand the last days of the year with my kids. They returned from Australia. They were on vacation there, visiting the other grandpa and grandma. And they returned 27. So Celita and I, we flew to Massachusetts on the 29th. Then when we arrived home, we saw the kids a little excited because they took a long vacation in December and the teachers allowed them to go to Australia if they do all the homework. They had to have everything done before attending the school in January. But you know the kids, they are so happy with grandpappy and grandmommy now trying to play and smile and love and not to do homework. So I told them just to stimulate them. Okay, grandpappy is going to give you five dollars when you finish all these homeworks. They enthusiastically began to work, you know, and every day they work. During the next five days, they, they had to dedicate several hours a day and they complete the homework. At the time, Salita and I had to return to New Jersey. So they were so happy, say, Grandpappy loved me so much, that's Joel, the little one, seven years old, that he promised to give me five dollars daily <laughs> <laughs> for my homework. And I did it. So Jose, the, the third and I, we have fifty dollars together. Okay. My plan was just to give five each. <laughs> But Grandpappy loves me so much that he promised to give me five dollars daily. What I had to do? I went to my pocket and I give twenty-five dollars each, fifty dollars. Smart guy? Maybe he is. But I was laughing when I gave them the fifty dollars. You know the reason? He was right. Grandpappy 
loving and his brother so much and willing to give whatever for them, whatever. My wife, you know, she's an auditor, an accountant, and she takes care of every penny. If I need to buy something, he always says, hey, remember. But if I'm going to buy something for the grandkids, she's happy to, no, no, it's for him, it's for him, <laughs> or for her, <laughs> not a problem. Why? Because auditors and accountants, they have a heart, <laughs> they love the grandkids and they give the money to them. Not a problem. I had no discussion. If I want to buy a new tie, maybe a problem. But if I want to buy a new, a new toy, not a problem. <laughs> because it's based on love. Stewardship is based on love. Amen. We give to the Lord if we love the Lord. If we don't love the Lord, we are not going to give anything. It's important to understand that love is the heart of stewardship. It's based on love. Thank you, John. I really appreciate your visit. In the name of the conference administration, thank you. Leonel already, our good Ministerial and Stewardship Director expressed gratitude. And I was not here because I was visited yesterday for churches, but I had communication, you know? Thanks the Lord for the iPhones. And we communicate, and I knew everything was going beautiful here. And we are going to prepare a remedial meeting with those who didn't have a chance to come to this weekend, because this material is important for everybody. And we need, to, uh, we need to share with the churches what we learn and what we have here. So today, I would like to express my gratitude to all of you who came to be ready to ministry in the church. To be ready to be good stewards of the Lord. And to be ready to make the church to grow in the name of Jesus Christ. It's not about money. It's about love. I prefer a Christian who loves than a Christian who gives because somebody is pushing to give. God wants us to love and do things based on love. So today we are going to complete this special weekend praying and making an appeal to all of you and to myself. Let's do our mission of a stewardship directors with love and dedication. Giving pastors and leaders ourselves to God and also giving our good example to the church. When the church see the pastor, who is a good steward, giving to the church, the church follows the example of the pastor. When the pastor and the stewardship director do the right thing, people will follow the good example. If we are faithful, if we give with love and happiness, Give with all your heart, and God is going to do the rest in this year, 2014, and forever. Mm -hmm. I invite you to, this morning to make a decision, to put in practice what we learn, and to share with the church, and be the good stewards that the Lord wants us to be. So if you want to do that, I would like to see you standing for prayer. And we thank you because we know you have been with us. And we humbly request, please, continue with us as we return to our churches 
to do our ministry for 2014 and in the future. Bless every church represented here. And bless all the churches of this conference. And bless North American Division. And all the churches around the world. Be with us today. As we, as leaders of the stewardship department, dedicate our life to you. Give to every leader here today a double portion of the Holy Spirit. Because the mission is bigger than them and than us. And today, we surrender our life to you. Amen. Receive us and help us. Because we pray in the beautiful name of somebody who gave everything for us. Our dear Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen.